everybody it's one stop guy how's everybody doing today today we're gonna head out to UC Davis okay so we're gonna do a little tour for you to see how the campus looks like right now we're driving from Sacramento California and it takes about 20 minutes to get to UC Davis if you guys are from San Jose it's gonna take you about 90 minutes um, from Orange County probably take you about six hours and from San Francisco, it's going to take you about 90 minutes also. Today is a Saturday, so the freeway isn't too bad. It's a pretty clear, um, sunny day. Not uh, too traffic right now, so it's an easy drive. just enter Davis here welcome to Davis and uh, we're coming to downtown Davis is under this tunnel here so the downtown area if you go toward the right it's gonna be a lot of restaurants and uh, we also have a movie theater also on the right side so this is where people um, go eat and uh, relax it's probably about only a mile from uh, down uh, from UC Davis itself. Not too far. It's walking distance actually. But right now we're gonna actually go to the uh, Welcome Center. The Welcome Center is for people to uh, basically get more information and um, have meetings and stuff like that. It's a new building that just opened up, and um, yeah, just for for if you know if your parents or students need more information, it's. Um, a place for you to come and get more information we're going over there right now it's it's toward the left of this the school so we're gonna turn left here and just go all the way down and it should be on the right hand side UC Davis campus is pretty big you know it's um, you can walk around you know it's um, all the classes are spread apart go from one side to the next probably take you about 20 minutes because it's a pretty big campus okay so um, pretty popular school one of one of the high-ranking school in California and it's in the UC system so right now we're still driving toward the welcome center not as busy today because it's it, you know it's on a Saturday and it's the last day of uh, finals and uh, students are going on spring break so you don't see too many cars out here not too many students around everybody probably went home just a few people are still here so so the, the row is not uh, you know crowded like uh, it used to be or you know when there's school when there's a uh, school in session there's gonna be this area is really packed a lot of people come visit here so we're almost there we're almost to the welcome center pretty uh, just a couple more uh, blocks here actually it's just right there on the right side you can see that little yellow board that's the welcome center we're gonna make a u-turn and come back here to find some parking
got the very large Modavi center there on the right side. It's a pretty new building there. You can see it pretty, pretty, pretty new. Pretty nice day today. The sun is out. Um, pretty warm day. From you know, from it being rainy this morning, and all of a sudden just uh, sunny. Just like uh, three, three or four hours later, it's sunny and hot. All right, so we just made a U-turn. We're gonna go back. We're gonna find some parking so that way we can walk around. Um, take a little tour here we're gonna go into the welcome center show you around and on the right side is another new building right there all right so we're approaching the uh, welcome center you can see it from the left side there it says right there welcome center University of California Davis not too many people walking today so that's why you see the street so empty because everybody's probably went home to their families and stuff because it's uh, supposed to be bring spring break today all right we're gonna go look for a parking right now it looks like uh, there's a lot of parking
right, so we're gonna walk toward right, the welcome center now. UC Davis. This, this is, is uh, where it's located. Center. That's a big sign for you to see here, so you don't uh, miss it. It's right in the corner of the street. Alright, so we're gonna walk toward the building real quick here. Oh yeah, in the, in the back of that board, it also has, uh, it also says University of California Davis. The abbreviation is UC Davis. And this is their office hour, welcome center hours right here. So there's only some holidays that they close, but uh, that is the, uh, the meeting hours or the visitors hours. And this is on, I'm across the street right now, just to show you how it looks like from the other side of the street. Pretty nice and calm day. There's actually a bus right there. There are some students are touring right now. the view from the other side of the, uh, the, the welcome center so we're back to the welcome center again here all right let's start going in now I want to show you guys how it looks like from the inside when you walk in you're gonna see a lot of a lot of uh, booth and chairs here for you to sit and I guess get some information and just wait and relax. And then if you have any questions, about, they have some agents sitting on the desk on the left side. So you guys can ask any question you guys need. They can help you guys out. And it looks like they have a little store also. They have a little store inside the Welcome Center. So if you want to buy some souvenirs, So let me so let me walk toward the souvenir store here to see how they have what they have inside here. So it looks like uh, they sell some hats, t-shirts. They sell a bunch of souvenirs for uh, for you to buy and have a, have a, you know to bring home or to wear it when you go to UC Davis or just bring it home for gifts and stuff like that. meeting rooms they also have the auditorium it's a pretty big auditorium meeting room here so that's that yep so that is the UC Davis welcome center okay if you guys uh, are curious or want to check it out just stop by There we go again, we're outside again, and it looks like, like I said earlier, the bus just dropped some students off, so that way they can tour the, um, the school, and the, the other view before they got dropped off right here. But another bus just arrived actually, dropping them off, dropping more students off, and then it's a lot tour. So I guess the students are touring on a Saturday, huh? That's good, because it's less people easier for them to look around and uh, not get stuck in traffic or whatnot. There's a pretty beautiful waterfall right there, or whatever that is called. It's my little uh, pond right there. Alright guys, enjoy the tour, okay?
All right, so this is, uh, we're walking toward the uh, MU building. It's called the Memorial Union Building. They have a uh, place for students to eat and um, other um, study areas. And they also have the uh, bookstore and also the uh, game area where they can uh, come down and, and relax a little bit. This is the outside of it. It's only a few students walking around because today is a Saturday and most of the students already been uh, going home. And those students there are just a tour student that uh, was on the bus earlier and they're just, tour uh, they're just touring the campus. Just enjoy the tour.
right? So we're just walking around the campus here to show you guys around. There's actually a um, emergency booth right there. So if you're in an emergency situation, you can actually come to this booth. And there is actually a button for you to press on to uh, call for emergency. Pretty convenient here, you know, around the campus because you never know, right? Campus is pretty big and huge. So anything can happen to you. So the, they do have a emergency booth for you to uh, get some help. And there it is, push for help.
right, so now we're actually back into the MU area. We're going to go and check out the game area and the bookstore. This is on the other side of the Memorial Union building. And you see it's its campus store. And right here is the game area. This is where a lot of students, you know, they want to relax. They want to meet up friends. They want to take a little break. They want to just, you know, basically relax and uh, stay away, away from the books for a little bit. So that way they can relax their mind and just enjoy the day. And this is the hours. Right, so this is the area that's next to the game area that we just went to um, they got a lot of uh, lounges they got a tables and chairs you know for you to sit and eat or just relax study and this is inside the memorial building okay memorial union building they call it the mu and if you have any questions you can always ask the information desk they're sitting there waiting you know just for any questions or whatnot is the other angle of the lounge or the study area or the or the uh, place for people to uh, study and um, going back outside we're going to the um, the main uh, bookstore here all right so it looks like uh, they're they sell a lot of stuff in here they got a lot of souvenir they got a lot of clothes. They also got some makeup area as well. So it looks like they're selling a lot of stuff here. Everything you can see here. All right, guys, just enjoy the video and the tour, okay?
All right, so this is one of the many dorms that UC Davis has. This is the, the one that is called Segundo. It's one of the older building. Um, they also have another section where they have a high rise, more modern dorm. But uh, we're gonna show you one of the dorms on the campus here. There's, uh, like I said, a few other dorms. And like you can see, there's a lot of bikes everywhere because this is the capital of bicycle. Pretty calm, quiet today. Just a nice, beautiful, sunny day. You know, every every student, most of the students are already off for spring break. So uh, as you can see, again, it's not uh, too crowded. Probably just 10% of the students are still on campus. Probably their last day of the uh, final is today. So probably just a few left. Some may or may not even go home, they just stay in their dorm. Or, well, maybe they have to leave, but uh, some may just uh, relax somewhere. And here is a tool kit. Just in case your uh, bike has a flat tire or needs fixing, so that's pretty cool. They actually have a tool kit right here for you to use for free. All right, right now we're gonna walk to the one of the dorms um, dining area, which is the Segundo dorm um, dining commons, it's called. This is where the, the students um, that lives in the dorms or other students can come as well if they have a if they can if they want to pay to come in. It's basically a food area, so um, this is where they uh, eat basically. They have many uh, dining commons in the campus, but this is one of them. This is the one that we're going to tour today. It's uh, the Segundo Dining Commons. We can only tour outside because it's closed today. It looks like it's closed. Alright, so we're actually back outside again here. This is the uh, TAPS building. I guess this is where, you know, you go and pay your parking tickets. 
This is the building right here. It's off of Hutchison. So try to park your car somewhere where you don't get a ticket so you don't have to come here. And look at the beautiful flowers blooming. It's only spring so it's gonna be nice soon. parking garage so if you're a visitor this is a pavilion district structure so if you're a visitor you can park for nine dollars and also if uh, you have an emergency like on your car um, it's got going to trouble. You can get some help here. Dead battery, locked out, tire inflation, out gas. You can call this number for a free complimentary motorist service. Okay, so they actually provide free, free for students or free for anybody. And that's the information booth for the parking uh, for the parking. Not too many cars today. Everybody already left. They're about to build another Tercero Dining Commons 2. They're in the works right now, it looks like. Should be complete in the fall of 2019. So whoever is gonna attend uh, this fall, they'll be in luck. It's gonna be a very beautiful dining common coming up. And then right now we're walking to the silo area. This is another area where um, students uh, buy food and um, just relax. It's another second area, food area, versus the uh, MU area earlier that we saw. They also have some bus stop here. We got you know bus stop, bus number, and all that. And this one is the the Grove Under Education Undergraduate Education School of Medicine. Molecular and Cellular Biology. So this is the uh, School of Medicine area. It's actually very near the uh, silo area. And uh, right on the left side of the silo area, they have the second main bus stop. They actually just built this area five years ago. Five or ten years ago, they didn't have that uh, bus stop over there. And here is the silo parking. And this building right here is the silo. Everything is closed today. That's why you don't see people and that many people here. And they they have the Pete's Coffee. And if you go through that double door, they're going to have other restaurants inside. But yeah, like I said, it's, it's, a, it's on a Saturday and everything is closed today. So nobody's around. And here you go again, a lot of bikes. This is, the, like I said earlier, the capital bike city, okay? So the UC Davis has the most bikes in all the UC systems. So if you guys, if you guys are like uh, thirsty, wanting some coffee, they have um, Pete's coffee in this building. And they also have an ATM as well next to the, the building. Uh, also and this building is the bike barn this is for you to if you need to help fixing your bike or help selling your bike you bring it here they can help sell your bike all right guys so this is a tour of UC Davis there may be a couple more buildings that we miss, but that's the main buildings that I wanted to show you guys today. So, um, hope you guys enjoy the video and uh, hopefully you guys or whoever is about to attend UC Davis, hopefully this gives them a little understanding of the campus. And um, that's it. Like, share, subscribe.
Thanks, guys. Have a good one. Bye-bye.